these things do take a long time to, to work through, particularly when we're in a profession that can't really measure our output and productivity effectively. Um, and when you can't do that, it makes it much harder to, to, to effectively use the scientific method on ourselves. Yes. Because, yes. you know, if you can't measure your outputs, then it's very hard to tell whether one thing's better than another. Well, that, that, that's that. So, so, so I, I, I thought that for a long time, uh, but I, I was, I was somewhat impressed by the Dora metrics oh, yeah. and the use of stability and throughput as measures of efficiency and quality. What, what, what's, what's your view on those? Oh, I'm a big fan of the Dora stuff. I mean, that's why I wrote, yeah. wrote the forward to uh, um, Nicole and, and Jez's and uh, Jean's book. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was, I'm often very skeptical about these kind of about a lot of the kind of measurement studies that I see in academia um, because I because again it comes down to this how do you measure your output and are you mm -hmm. even measuring the right thing if someone says oh yes we get more function points done than somebody else I go well yes what does that mean yeah. um, a are you consistent able to consistently measure these function points of which you speak and b does it actually matter because Actually, I would rather write software with less function points that provides more value to the users and allows them to get their job done better. That's what yeah. matters. Um, so, so many things have fallen apart based on that. What I liked about what Dora was doing was it really looked to try and correlate software development activities with business outcomes. Yes. And that was the kind of one of the fundamental ties in that says, if we can correlate organizations that do well on the business level with some of the software practices that they do, then we feel we've got something that has a real value. Yeah. And yeah. initially when Jez talked to me about it, I mean, when I, when I very first come across the Dora reports, I remember reading the Dora report and thinking, this feels like complete bullshit. But <laughs> This is Jez. Jez doesn't do bullshit. So I need yeah. to talk to Jez and yeah. he needs to explain to me why this stuff isn't as bullshitty as it looks. Yeah. And his basic answer was, well, I could do, but you better talk to Nicole because she's the real um, mind behind yeah. this. And we got on a call um, and she went through outlining the kinds of the techniques she was using. And although I don't understand the details of the techniques, mm -hmm. I got enough of impression to convince me that this was actually kosher. Yeah. Um, and at the heart of it, as I said, is this connection of business performance correlating to the technical techniques and then looking at how that correlation operates to begin to say, oh, OK, there's actually some causation involved in this. Yeah. And then that led to many things. And in fact, um, we kind of joke that uh, I, I was having dinner with Nicole and said, come on, if you don't write this stuff up i'm going to write it up and that kind of teased it to say oh i've got to write this stuff up i don't want to stealing this um, and if that was true i will happy to take the credit and it led to the accelerate book which i think is such an important book yes um, because it really does demonstrate very solidly the kinds of delivery practices that we argue about argue for yes um there's really good solid data that says they are effective and, and people yes. should be using them yeah, and profoundly so. As I, 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 th I think one of the things that trips us up as an industry very often is that I, I think our discipline is one that probably appeals to people with a, a technical mindset, a, 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 probably a science background of some kind and, and so on, and, and a bent towards mathematics. I, I, that seems to me the kinds of minds that mm -hmm. enjoy solving problems in software. Um, and the problem there is that I, I think often we're looking to too much precision. And what we're talking about here is sociology and sociology is not the same as physics. It's not, it's right. not hard maths. You can't prove it. It's hard to carry out experiments with genuine controls. And so you have to take different techniques, but Nicole uh, has applied those techniques diligently. This is genuine science in the, com mm. at least at the level of sociology um, uh, and, and able to come up with this, predictive model, this correlative model of, of the ways in which certain behaviours lead to certain outcomes, certain outcomes are predicted by, by those behaviours and all, all, all that kind of stuff. And that's a tool that we haven't had before, really, yeah. with, with, with the same level of rigour. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, one of the few cases when I've looked at something and it hasn't fell apart sort of within five minutes of serious yeah. examination. Yeah. 
um, and I'm a big fan of that work and uh, very keen to see the, the further stuff that uh, um, yeah. she continues I, to go out I, and do. Um, I, really, I, I, really, I, I think really impressive stuff. I, I, I think I think the measurement measures aren't perfect. That that that, that you've chosen measures that are going to kind of suit the act, the outcome a little bit, but 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 I think they're the best we've got so far. You know, that, mm. that, that, and, and 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 that's. I, I, I agree with you. I think it's a deeply important book. And we certainly push our clients to try and pay attention to the four key metrics. And yeah. um, I mean, and they aren't perfect, partly because they focus on the delivery part, which is, uh, is once you've written the code, getting into yeah. production. And of yeah. course, there's a whole before part of that that we've got to look at. But the core idea of small cycles, rapid, yeah. lots yeah. of small steps is at the heart of this. Absolutely. And, um, that's always been something that we've been uh, big fans, of course, you know, do small things, set up feedback loops, um, operate from there. This clip was taken from my podcast, The Engineering Room with Dave Farley, a monthly podcast with some of the brightest minds in software engineering. You can find full episodes on all your favorite podcast platforms, including Spotify, Apple Podcasts and Amazon Music. Your support helps us to bring the, you these regular episodes, so please leave your positive review on your preferred podcast platform to help us to continue to grow and bring you great guests and their insights. Thank you very much for listening.